All right, boys, we're back once again. I thought this would be a cool video to show. Now, this isn't perfect. I, I thought Ripster actually had a script for TradingView for his specific EMA clouds. All right. Uh, now, a lot of people love these EMA clouds. I think they're okay. They're cool. I mean, it's just this whatever you like to use. Uh, but here's how you here's how you could set them up in TradingView. I just want to show you that you can utilize the indicators that are already in TradingView and just adjust them. Um, so first thing you do, come up to the indicators tab, just type in EMA Cloud. The first one is perfectly fine. Just click that puppy right there. Click EMA Cloud. And it's going to put this leading EMA Cloud in there. Now all you got to do is come in here and adjust it. Uh, now if you want it to be exactly like Ripster, I'm going to do my best. Obviously, if you guys know anything different, put it down in the comments. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong, but I, I will try and correct it. But uh, I know that he does use a 3450, and you want to drop this down to really zero. You don't want this. You don't want the moving average. I don't think he uses a leading moving average, like where it's pushing it forward one one period. So put that at zero. And I think he's using a close for his. So there's where you'll get that that middle cloud that he has. Obviously, uncheck these show alerts. You don't really need those in there. And then you know, for the color schemes, you know, you guys can figure out whatever you want. I mean, like for the middle, you know, you could just use yellow, and you know, just leave it red. You know, I don't know. That's how you know the middle. And then as they all turn red, everything turns red. So you'll, you'll see what I mean. So look at this. We'll just leave that. So there's the middle one. There's your middle cloud, and you can mess around with these colors. Uh, you don't really even need these. You could just make them black or white or whatever, um, as far as the outline goes. So there's that one. There's that middle one. Then you can come in here. I think he uses a 513. Again, we want that as zero. So go to the short EMA, put five. Go to the long, put 13. Change this to close. And don't you know if I'm going too fast, just you know pause it or or, or go back that kind of thing. Uh, I'm just going to kind of fly through this for tonight and then uh, uncheck these. Same thing, again with with the setup here. Uh, nice little way to do this is just to uh, turn the opacity up to whatever you want it to be. It's going to be pretty low, and then uh, we're going to turn the long and shorts down off there. Just make sure they're off up here as well. We don't care about these labels. You can put the labels on if you want to. It's going to show you buy and sell signals, um, this particular one. And then I think he's using like a 150. I couldn't figure out what the length of the third one is. I think he's using a 200 for sure, but I just put in a 100, 200. Uh, you could use a 150, 200, it, whatever you use. So see if you do that, it's going to shrink the cloud. Uh, if you do the 100, it's going to make the cloud thicker. Um, and then we're going to use a close uncheck those uncheck long and short here and then for the uh, for the co color of the cloud I mean you can just honestly again use whatever you want so we're just gonna keep it we don't want it to be red here in this case because uh, um, we're already using red we're already using cyan so we'll just make it blue how about that nice and blue and then we're gonna just shrink all these down we don't want these to be too thick we don't want them thick like that. And then, okay, uh, for down, we just wanted to make it red. So if it turns down, we'll look at what this looks like on several charts here. But there's your cloud. So there's a, a version of Ripster's cloud. It's kind of funky looking, I mean, compared to his. But you guys can mess with the color schemes and whatever you want that to be. You can leave the buy and sell signals on there. Uh, that way, uh, oops. And then you got to have. So. Uh, the reason I don't like the buy and sell signals is uh, look it's telling you to short here just because it's underneath the cloud uh, so you might just you, honestly you might just turn the shorts off if you're gonna do it and just wait for the long signal long long but I, I don't mess around with those I mean really these are just here as kind of a just to give you kind of a guide as you're, as you're trading a trend but um, so this is uh, let's go look at it in a couple cars, uh, a couple charts. Let's look at Bitcoin here with the EMA cloud setup. And so, 
yeah, definitely could see yourself, uh, you know, trading a trend here with this. Just using the 100, 200 cloud, using that middle line as kind of a gauge of, of strength, and then using this uh, the 513 as kind of your breakout entry. Um, so yeah, let's go look at uh, something that's down. Maybe Dogecoin, not doing too hot. There you go. So all the clouds turn red as you're uh, as you're kind of breaking down. Yeah, we got everything red. I mean, with this one, we could probably turn up and make red, just the same color. There you go. So uh, that's the EMA clouds. Uh, I'm not going to try and attempt to try and teach you the best way to trade it. I don't trade the EMA clouds at all, but this is just a way you could set your chart up with that. Um, I would definitely highly recommend, as usual, throwing some pivot points. Just even if it's just the daily pivot points, just to give you some reference uh, points while you're trading uh, intraday. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to leave any kind of link in the description. You're just going to have to follow the instructions on how to set this up. And uh, hopefully this helps. And leave me a, a, a like, a subscribe, and comment down below. Good luck trading.